Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Long Beach State Dynasty here in conference tournament play. Now, we don't have a first round buy like we did last year. I guess this is technically the second round. At least we don't have two rounds of buys. So we start out in the quarterfinals versus San Diego. They won in their first game in a blowout. But now here we are playing up against them. We won't show the full game here because this one is and I mean, it's just not even close. This is not even a blowout. This is like being this is like playing JV. I mean, this is what that is. Here is a corner three knocked down by Macklin. We're going to quickly go over the highlights in this game. Here's a tip pass. Douglas Taylor up the court running in transition over to James Quick. He throws it down. And now it is, I mean, it's a almost a 50-something point lead. 51 up to this point. Here's a fadeaway two. That is Solomon Teixeira hitting that one. And now 81-28 working it around. A little floater missed. James Quick on the offensive boards. Passes it back out to Macklin. Over to Douglas Taylor. And he knocks it down. And now it's up to almost a 60-point lead in this one. Here's a steal in transition to Shara running it. He gets the foul call and throws it at the basket, foul by Teague Teague. And he goes to the free throw line, officially making it a 60-point game. And San Diego chucks one up at the buzzer, not even close. Long Beach runs away with their quarter quarterfinal matchup. And now we move on to the semis where... This is where it gets real. Pepperdine and Gonzaga are waiting in the semis for the next two teams, and we will face Pepperdine. And in this game, Solomon Teixeira had 22 and 18. Douglas Taylor had two and 13. I mean, there's just games that Douglas Taylor is asked to do other things more, and he's just such a team guy. I see why he's on NBA radars. And one guy that could make a move to the NBA if he makes a good run here in the conference tournament and maybe into the NCAA tournament is Tamir Macklin. He has such a good jump shot. He's a good defender. He's definitely what NBA guys want, a good 3 and D guy. Also on the other side, uh, Carter Bushy had 10 and 11 and 7 blocks. So good stat line from him. But San Diego's season is officially over. Nobody has really been able to get past Long Beach, Pepperdine, or Gonzaga in this conference. It's just been the top three teams the last few years. Ever since we've joined this conference, nobody has really gotten close. I believe Santa Clara got close when they had Carlton Bigby. But besides that, nobody else. Now, Frankie McMarcus is a, is a senior this year. We played him for the past three years, and every year he's gotten better. He is their leader. And remember in the first game, it was actually Cam Jacobs who went nuts for them. But now Cam Jacobs comes into this game a little bit shaken up. Neck spasms. He's actually missing about three weeks, but he will miss this game. So they will be without their starting shooting guard here. That's about 10.5 points per game. And now they're a little shorthanded. So here we go. We're playing up against a little bit of a shorthanded. I don't want to see that that's a big piece because they have the depth. But let's get this game underway. We've been waiting all year long for this. And here we go. Pepperdine has swept us in the regular season. Let's see if we can finally get our revenge in this game. Good thing we're at a neutral court because I hate playing on Pepperdine's court. Here we are working it around the perimeter on the first possession. Here's Monsetti in the lane, puts it up. It's blocked. Solomon Teixeira on the rebound. He throws it at the rim, and that one is off. But here's Pepperdine the other way. This is Keyshawn Green who gets a layup, and he went berserk on us in the first half in the first game. I believe he had 12. And here is a steal already pushing up the court. This time it's a layup, and that is going to be good. And that is going to be David Tile Gibbs, who is filling in for Cam Jacobs. And here we are on the next possession. That is a corner three knockdown. Monsetti gets us going on offense. And now here is a 4-3 game. Here's Frankie McMarcus driving inside. And that is a foul on Douglas Taylor. So now a 6-3 game. Here we are away from the full court press. This is James Quicking. He gets all the way to the bucket and the contact. Nice play by him. And now it's an early 5-6 game. Here's Keyshawn Green from the free throw line. Rebounded, though. That's Roy Okoye on the offensive board. He is also a senior. They have four seniors in this starting lineup. The only guy that's not a senior is J.J. Styles. He is their starting power forward. And he makes it a 6-10 game. So here's Brian or James Quick passing it inside to Douglas Taylor, and he gets an easy one. 
That's what I want to do in this game. Slow down the tempo a little bit. I want to use the shot clock. And here's a three. And that is going to be called a foul. David Tile Gibbs on the three. But take a look. Tamir Macklin just put up his hands. And they call a foul on that. Now that is a home court call. Even though it's not home, home court. And now Pepperdine has a 13-8 lead. Here's a deep three in transition. That is good. Tamir Macklin knocking that one down. And it's back to a two-point game. Here's Frankie McMarcus driving inside and rebounded by Okoye. Another second chance bucket for him. He's got two early two, uh, shots in the lane. And that one is going to be another offensive rebound for him. But we do come back and hit the three. That's Monsetti. For that time, J.J. Styles, the true freshman, gets going for Pepperdine. Here we are driving the lane. William, William Caesar misses that one. Offensive rebound again. Puts it up and it's good over Okoye. And it's now just a two-point game, 20 to 18. But we have such a hard time here stopping these guys from shooting and getting good shots off. They pretty much draw fouls. They shoot a lot of threes. They can do it all on offense. So it's an early four-point lead for Pepperdine. But there is a corner three knocked down by James Quick. And now they have just the one-point lead. So here's McMarcus driving to the lane this time, and he gets the and one foul on to Shara. It's weird to think that a seven-footer couldn't block that shot right there, but Pepperdine takes the five-point lead now. Here we are driving the lane by James Quick, and that one is actually going to be called out of bounds on Quick. And we get possession back later here, seven minutes to go here in the first. Here is Kerry R. Walker in the game, passing around the perimeter. James Quick for three. He knocks it down. He's got 11. He's got to show up big time in this game. It's now just a two-point game. Nice block that time by Solomon Teixeira. Here we are running in transition. Roddy Madoki on the rebound, passing it. Carry our Walker, and he gets the transition layup. It's a tie ball game here, 28 up, six and a half to go. This is a three-point shot that time missed by the true freshman, J.J. Styles. as here is James Quick driving all the way to the bucket, and he gets it to go. It's now a two-point lead in Long Beach's favor. And now here is another defensive block. That time by Solomon Teixeira. Rebounded by Madoki. Passing up to Carriar. Can we take the four-point lead? And he blows the layup. And the two-point lead does remain. So here's Pepperdine this time. It's Nick Miles in the lane. And he gets the foul call. Remember, there's two Nick Miles in this game. Nick Miles on our team and Nick Miles on their team. Two different guys, though. So here are the 31-30 game. Here is LBSU with the turnover and a bucket. Nick Miles gets that one to go, and it's now 33-30. They grab this lead right back. But look at that pass. The game just cheeses us sometimes. We did not mean to pass that all the way across the court. Here is Miles with possession, working it to the corner. Mick Marcus deep two, and he knocks it down up to a five-point lead now. So now there's five minutes to go. Five-point lead, three, and that is going to be good. And knocked down by Pepperdine. It's up to an eight-point lead now. Kayshawn Cooper in the game, guarding William Caesar. Back out to Nick Miles, and he misses it. And it's now an eight-point game. And now Pepperdine has possession. Here is a layup. Missed. Good defense that time by Miles on the inside. But now down by eight, working it to the corner. Carriar knocks it down. Back down to a five-point game here, 38-33. So here's Carriar in the game. He passed it around to Miles. This time, can he knock it down? He can. The 5'8 lefty from deep. It's down to a two-point lead now. Now we're on a run. Here is Macklin looking to the corner. Monsetti hasn't missed from deep yet. He's three of three. He's got nine points. And now we take the one-point lead. So here's Monsetti in the corner once again. He's open. He doesn't miss. Four for four here in the first half for Monsetti from deep. And now here's Okoye back into the game. Passing out to the outside. McMarcus, deep two. So gifted offensively, he knocks it down. And now here's James Quick handling the ball. He gets it ripped away, but he does recover. McMarcus on the defense. But look at James Quick all the way to the basket. He's got 15 first half points. And now Pepperdine has the last possession here. Deep three taken by Styles. That's, that one is off. Rebounded William Caesar. Passed it all the way up the court. It's a three-point shot, and Douglas Taylor can't get that one to go. It's always a good time every time we play Pepperdine. It's a heated rivalry here, and what a first half. We were down by almost double digits, came back, and now we're back up by four. The second half is probably going to have some fireworks. So here is Pepperdine here to start the second half. 
as now it's a 44-40 game, and we're up by four, but they get a dunk that time by Okoye, and now up by two. Here's a drive to the lane, and this time we get a foul call. I'm surprised. We never get foul calls versus Pepperdine. And now it is a two-point game now as here we are working it to the corner. Tamir Macklin knocks it down, back up to a five-point lead. But you can't count out Pepperdine. There's a jump shot by Okoye. He's been busy in this one. And now it's just a three-point game. Here we are working it to open man Douglas Taylor. Williams Caesar in the middle, and he gets it to go. In traffic, nice little uh, acrobatic layup on that one. And here we are now up by five. Looking for a shot. They're back into that 3-2 zone. They love to play this. Working it to the corner. James Quick passing it back out to Taylor. Back out to Caesar. Finally an open three in the corner, and it's Monsetti knocks it down. Up to a nine-point lead. And now here we are with a nine-point lead with possession now. After that missed shot, it's eight points now. Here is Douglas Taylor running the other way. Monsetti thinks about the three, but he stops. And a reset up here, working it to the corner. Macklin for three, and it's up to a double-digit lead. Eight, zero, run here. And now 12 minutes to go. Let's see if we can lock down on defense. This is a three-point shot. And that is David Tile Gibbs with the three. And now it's back down to an eight-point game. Here we are working it inside. We actually hit the wrong button that time. And here is Pepper down the other way. Okoye in transition off of the pass. And it's down to a six-point game. Here's James Quick off of the uh, pick. Pass inside. Douglas Taylor is blocked. Here is Tyle Gibbs going the other way. He's going to go all the way to the bucket and gets it to go. 11-point lead. Now down to a four-point lead. You can never count out Pepperdine. Here's a pick and roll. This time it's ripped by Styles. Going the other way is Big Marcus spinning up to that's going to be Keyshawn Green who gets fouled, and now they are down by two. That elite that lead is erased, and here's Pepperdine back up with possession. Here's a jump shot. Styles from the free throw line. It's now a tie ball game, 57 apiece. Here back on the next possession. Here's a corner three knocked down. Monsetti gives us a lead right back. And now let's see if we can play some defense. Big Marcus in the corner. Up to a mid-range shot, and that is good. And Big Marcus is so gifted. And now it's a one-point lead. Here's a pick. James Quick all the way to the bucket. And that is good. Back to a three-point game. So now it's a five-point game. Three-point shot missed by Solomon Teixeira, but rebounded. Douglas Taylor over Kayshawn Cooper. And he gets the foul call, and he hits both free throws. Now a 66-59 game. So seven and a half to go. This is a drive this time and a foul on Monsetti. And now it's just a five point game here. Six and a half to go. Here's Nick Miles playing a little point, throwing it to the corner. Monsetti has not missed from deep. Six for six from three. And it's now a six point lead here. Six minutes to go. But Keyshawn Green is just so good at driving and getting those fouls. That time on James Quick. And now here is Green again. They love the one-on-one -on -one matchups when they have Keyshawn Green on the court. Here he is calling the play. Over to David Tiles, who shoots the deep three. It's good. Shooting 53% from the field is Pepperdine. It's now just a one-point lead. Here is Macklin. Oh, good move to the basket. A lefty layup. It's now up to a three-point lead. But we need some defense here. Here's McMarcus, one-on-one. -on -one. Gets the shot blocked by Macklin but they call a foul. You've got to be kidding me. Great defense by Macklin, and they call a foul on that, and now it's back down to a one-point game. Here we are on offense looking for a good shot. They're in that 2-3 zone now. D3, Macklin knocks it down. You can always count on Macklin, 76-72. Here they are back on offense though, working it inside. That's Cooper off the bench. The former Long Beach 49er gets it to go. And now it's a three point game. William Caesar on the inside, he finally gets a foul call. Roy Okoye, that's only his first foul of the game. So now this is where free throws start to count as we do miss the first of two. But the second is going to be good. It's now a four point lead, but under two minutes to go. So the Stars are back in the game for uh, Pepperdine, but there's a missed shot by Nick Miles. Here we are pushing up in transition. Monsetti thinks about the three, but drives inside and draws the foul on Henderson. Actually, the Stars weren't in the game, 
And now they do get their stars back in the game now. 82-76. But here is Macklin being a bit too aggressive on defense, going for the steal. They call the foul, and David Tao gives, goes to the free throw line. The first shot is good, and the second is good as well. It's now a four-point lead. And now there's under a minute to go. Here is Macklin, though, handling the ball, and he loses it. And Pepperdine picks it up and calls a timeout. You've got to be kidding me. That's just a CPU AI. They call a timeout after having probably an open layup on that one by Okoye. Here's Keyshawn Green going the other way after the timeout. Good move getting to the basket. It's now just a two-point game. But here they are. That was three seconds difference between the shot clock and game clock, and they start to foul. I'm surprised by that. And maybe they think we're going to miss these free throws down the stretch. But they put James Quick on the free throw line for a one and one. The first shot is good. It's now a three-point game. Let's see if James Quick can make this now a four-point game. The second free throw is off the front rim, rebounded by Styles, And now it's just a three-point game. Pepperdine can tie it up on this possession. Here they are passing it up the court, and it's deflected. William Caesar with some good defense. James Quick recovers a bonehead play by Pepperdine, and you put James Quick on the free throw line for a one and one. He's gonna hit the first. And let's see if he can knock down both this time. The second free throw is good. 85-80, 16 seconds left. So now Pepperdine with one last possession here, passing up to Keyshawn Green, gets to the corner. He just shoots the three, and it's off, and rebounded by Macklin. And that one should do it here. Six and a half seconds left. Tamir Macklin shooting 75% from the free throw line. The first one is off the mark. Rebounded by Styles. This game just won't end. And now it's a five point lead here. They call a timeout. Now they inbound it here with six seconds left. But here they are just kind of lazy up the court. It's just gonna be a deep three and it's off. We finally defeat Pepperdine this season. It seems like we couldn't get there, but now we finally get the victory when it matters. We are one win away from the NCAA tournament, getting back for the first time in a few seasons. And now here we go. Wow, what a game. Pepperdine always seems to have just a cheesy, cheesy game. I mean, honestly, like if you dribble the ball within two feet of any other defenders, they get the steal animation if you play good defense and good defense on them they always get those foul calls that that one verse uh that we had on mick marcus in that game that fade away two that was terrible then the foul on macklin on david T tile gibbs in the corner that was terrible but somehow we made it we made it to the championship and once again we're facing gonzaga how about monsetti though he was actually probably the reason why he won that game. He went seven for seven from deep. And that's the thing, you just can't force shots with Monsetti. I found that because he's just a really streaky player. Like if he doesn't get going, he's gonna be awful in the game. You definitely need to kind of work him into the offense, give him some open shots. Can't really like jack it up or he can sometimes be a one-on-one -on -one player, but it seems like, I don't know, that part of his game has kind of faded away. But it was a good victory nonetheless. McMarcus was spectacular. I think they might get an at-large bid, but we'll have to see. Okay, here we go. Gonzaga blows out St. Mary's. We expected this. And now it's the one seed versus the three seed in the West Coast Conference Championship. I'm looking so forward to this game. We are one win away from the NCAA Tournament. Will we be disappointed once again for another year? Or will we finally get to the big dance? Hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it, let's go. Wave, yeah. I'm in it for keepsake, in the field with the cleat lace. Beat foot with the bare face and a slick tongue, that's what she say. She look good, she a big tease when she bite lip with the wink face. Hella bad when she throwing it back, she bring out my way for the team play. For Pete's sake, I'm above average, I'm padding my stack. I got a matter what he say.